Jimmy Beardmore saunters into Severna Park High School. His dog Zeus at his side. Go, 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 go. Pets are forbidden in this school, but given Jimmy's stature as the varsity lacrosse coach, there's no dogs allowed in school. And this is the state of Maryland. More junk mail. There are a few transgressions which can be overlooked. Stop using baby talk. Okay. No baby talk for the dog. Okay. No baby talk for the dog. He's a dog. Just talk to him like he's a regular person. I think that lacrosse is about two things. I think lacrosse is about love. This is what it's all about! All the pain! All the suffering! And I think lacrosse is about hate. I want people to feel violated after they've played Severna Park. I love game day, man. This is so freaking cool. Go, 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 go! You can't let them go without taking a lot of goddamn flack, and you don't need the flack. We are destined to win the state championship. Ah, son of a bitch! What's in the water? Blood. There's blood in the water right now. There's blood in the water right now. You can, okay? Who's with me? It was an um, interesting time. We had a good group of kids. We knew there were good people across the country. Bud Beardmore is Jimmy's dad and one of the most accomplished coaches in lacrosse history. Everybody complains and bitches and moans and whines about the childhood. You know, mine was perfect, man. I got to go on the bus to all the way games in Maryland. I... He was Jimmy's assistant that year. Severna Park made a run at the state championship. Fight! 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 It was the last year Bud was physically able to coach. Watch you better, you know better. Shoot the ball, shoot it! If you were in the Hall of Fame, I'd fire you, dude. It's just not rolling the ball without a coach. Yeah. Yeah. Got all those problems, the coach had to handle. Yeah. I tell you, there was a lot of things going on that year. Loser goes home! And I want you to strip them down in front of their families. He's a good teacher. He knows the kids. Look around, man! Who deserves it? He knows how to handle adults. There's not enough games. There's not enough Excuse me, I'm talking. speaking. Is he always like this? He knows what he should do with the parents. You know, here's the whole thing. Fuck the parents. But he loves confrontation. We've had eight penalties on us and not one on them. You think that's the answer? Get away, coach. Get away. He just, every once in a while, steps off the plank. Because it's bullshit. And it's a long way down. Who gives a rat's ass? Let's play some goddamn lacrosse. Um. Bud has been battling Parkinson's disease for eight years. I'm sorry. I said... Along those lines. Um. Patients along those lines. Uh. God, it's, I'm sorry. It has something to do with... Um, Jimmy remembers that season. Remembers it well. Remembers that cold February day in 2006. When it all began. It seemed innocent enough at the time. Gather your players and jump into the frozen Chesapeake Bay to raise money for a charity. The kids and their parents had fun. Bud was there. Zeus was a pain in the ass, as usual. 
A fun start to a season that will ask many questions of a coach. Can you be a hard ass one minute? Are we gonna finish this? Yes, sir. And a friendly dude the next. Will your stubborn nature wear on the parents? The administration. I really enjoy coaching here. I know that sometimes people want to fire me. Does the team want it as much as you do? Is it personal? Don't be normal! Don't be normal! Tell you one thing I really want: 40 yard sprint time. A time 40 yard sprint. We're gonna have we're gonna have to cut seniors this year. You know that. Who wants to make it? Come on, baby! Fight, gentlemen! The cost of the war! 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 seniors. I can't keep 19 seniors. Next group, ready. Go! Tryouts. 132 young men vie for 85 spots. 48! 49! Tryouts are a strain on the coaches and the players. Who's going to be there in the end? Who's going to be there in the end? And while the process may teach life lessons. You just continue to impress me. I don't like you at all. <laughs> Thank you. There's a cruelty to it that hangs in the air as the days wear on. Aches, pains, or injuries? Good, because I don't care. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Three or four of these seniors have to be cut. We have to figure out who. Coach Beardmore, let's try to be on time for the meetings if we could. Come on. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about two controversial issues. Shoot. What I envisioned was a JV team and then a team of kids that we worked with. And the thing is, if you register them all as JV players, you give these 20 extra kids an opportunity to make it. Team mother, Kathy Gavazdan, meets with Jimmy and Bud to discuss a matter that can only be painful in the end. It's not gonna happen, so I would rather not spend a whole lot of time talking about this, okay? Because there's nothing we can do about it. If you sign them all up. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna carry a huge, massive JV team. If we have too many kids, no matter how the coach brings them in, there's not enough minutes. There's not enough minutes in the games. It's We're not enough, it's a math thing. You, but are you hearing us? It's a math thing. I am, okay. and I'm making, I'm making a management decision right now, okay? Not everybody wants to go to college and play lacrosse. That's so, not, that's, can, that's, that's, excuse that's me, not I'm speaking. You Let me speak. speak. That's, you're big, okay, you're women, off, you're, no, you're no, no, no. Apple stores. I'm not, I'm not. Because they want to be part of a team. And if they understand that this year well, they you... They should have worked harder. Than Is he always like this? Right now, that's my decision. You guys got another seven days to convince me of different. Damn, it's cold out here. This is one of the most miserable days I've ever had. For Bud, no pushing behind. The sport of lacrosse keeps him going. Don't turn and drop the stick. It's in his blood. It's what he knows. And it makes his fight against Parkinson's barrel. Oh, good recovery. Him in the hand. Jimmy will rely on him all season to design and coach the offense. 11. Now, do you do the cuts from the JV or does I, uh, Dude, I have to do the cuts. We're going to do the cuts on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Already? No, and I do it in front of
Members of the media always look for Beardmore quotes in their preseason scouting roundup. Jimmy is honest and can fill a pad with colorful material. So cool. That's our team is freaking huge. Really? That's yeah. You walk out there. I'm like, I'm, I'm looking up at all the kids. Newspaper columnist Bill Wagner does not leave disappointed. I tell you what, with the, with the amount of talent that we have this year, mm -hmm. if we don't win the state championship, they should fire me. Really? Yeah. Put You're the saying that right now on the record? Absolutely. That they should fire you. Go! No! No! That's what so What I heard like ten people say it. Get back in there! If you're gonna say it, hey, hey! If you're gonna say it, say it loud. Say it proud. Be the best on three. One, two, three. Be the best. In about 10 minutes time, I'm going to walk in here. Four days of brutal practices come to an end. The names I call out would be the, the gentlemen that will be participating on JV and varsity lacrosse here at Savannah Park. Gathers, Jimmy gathers his assistants to discuss those players who are on the bubble. You can't run, you can't catch. I mean, I know, I, I, know, I, I want to be loyal. I do, I do, I do to my seniors, but I can't keep you them can't off. can't let them go without taking a lot of goddamn flack, and you don't need the flack. We have 41 kids. I need to make, I need to make one more cut. No, you don't. I think I do. Why are you saying no? I don't. You just don't need to make any cuts. You don't need to do it to show your strength or show your power. This you is not a test of strength, man. I know how strong I am. You have an overall big picture. Don't get stuck on this one year. Think about the future. Unfortunately, there's just so many jerseys. There's only so many people we can carry. Spadaro, Nick, CJ Salyers. Where do you find the strength to tell a young man he's not good John enough? Coe, Stand up and give me your hands in. Come on. What do you say the next time you pass him in the hallway? Will he think you're a phony? You gave it your best shot. I mean, it was very, very difficult for us to make this decision. Have you been fair? That's it. You know, I can't feed you a whole bunch of crap right now that's going to make you feel better. It is the worst moment of a young season that shows much promise. Pumping iron, quarter mile runs, and final cuts are now a distant memory. It's time to play lacrosse, even if it's only a scrimmage. This is not happening for me because this kid is, dude, he can't ride. And if you can't ride, you can't play for me. It's, it's that simple. I don't care. I don't care. Okay? I don't care how we get there. We just need to get there. It's easy. Okay? Once we get going, I'll remember the way. What's your name? Your mom? Michelle. What's your name? Michelle. Okay, Michelle. Can I drive? And so the journey to Southern Maryland to take on St. Mary's Riken is eagerly anticipated. Come on, Poles. Can anybody hear me? When we're riding, you need to be topside your man. Severna Park and St. Mary's will both rest a few of their best players. But that's no matter. And even if you pretend that this is just a workout to get ready for the regular season, once again, if we get lost, it's your fault. But first, you got to get there. You would think that they would get the directions and hand it to the driver before they came to the site. You disagree? You think it should be my responsibility? Kiss my ass, dude. No, I know we're lost. I know we almost killed a dog. Thank you for not killing the dog. But you know what? We are we are very very close. So for right now, the only conversation you have is about today's war. And remember, that's what lacrosse is. It's a war, man. Gentlemen, strip it down. Let's go. Let's go, boys. On the hop. Bud Beardmore will not let's make go. the two-hour trip. We get a couple runs. Hey, there so are good so are and nice not so good days when you're battling Parkinson's. Go. There is a pregame ritual that Jimmy Beardmore takes very seriously. Right. Warming up the goalie. 
Beardmore was the starting goalie for Maryland in 1987 when the Terps' undefeated season came to a crashing end in the NCAA semifinals. The position is dear to his heart. And therefore, it is no surprise that starter Mike Gavazdin receives extra attention. Severna Park will rely on his efforts this season if they are going to challenge for a state title. Step it in! Step it in! Everybody stay involved in the game. Everybody be able to recognize the situations, right? Recognize and anticipate. Tommy, go in for Frankie right now. Frank! Frank, come to me! Come to me! Get off the field! Dude, stop looking to make a three foot pass when you're clearing. Look to the offside. You're looking While this scrimmage is utterly meaningless, look at the hits. The shots, the saves, and the emotion. Damn it, I love that! Maryland is coming out of hibernation. I tell you what, if I call you off the field and you hesitate again, your playing time is going to be severely hampered. You hear me? The Chesapeake is warming. They're going to pressure. If they press your way out there on offense, then you dodge, right? And you get them down to 8 3, and boom, this game's over. The sun slants a little bit longer with each passing day. The cross season is here. Tell your dad to all right? I hope, I hope things are okay. I just got a phone call. I understand that he's okay now. Good job. So that's awesome. I ask about him. Okay. Same time next year, but you're making the drive. We'll be up there. All okay. Right. All right. Good luck, buddy. Okay. Hey, hey, give me back my damn stick. Give it back. Don't growl at me. Don't growl at me. Drop my stick. Drop it. Give it back. Give it back. Give me the stick. <laughs> Severn School, a small private day school, has been a constant in the Beardmore family. Jimmy Beardmore went to school here. Your classes are always so quiet. Why is that? And his mother has taught there for 10 years. So what characteristic did Odysseus have? Yes, Tori. What doesn't it kill you make you see stronger? OK, if you have obstacles, you have to overcome them, and it may make you stronger. I like that one. I like the fact that it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. It's huge. Bud Beardmore got his start in coaching here and won a prep school championship in 1963. Mr. Beardmore, did you ever read the Odyssey? I did read the Odyssey. As a matter of fact, I read the Odyssey when I went to school here. All this family history, less than a mile down the road from Severna Park High School. Mom, That's it. Drive fast, take chances. Mom, don't say that. Bye. Favorite oldest son. Hey, let's go, boys! Give me a run! Give me a run! Get the balls up! We welcome to the Indian High School. We'll be playing the start of our battle. The Verna Park's four-team invitational go! tournament has been constructed with the hopes that the Falcons will meet Severn in the final. We deserve the win. We deserve it. Nobody works harder than us. Get your hands in. What we do, boys? Oh, woo! Here we go. Be the best. Say it loud. Say it proud, because that's what you are. One, two, three. Be the best. You okay? Three, three. There you go. Three, three. The Falcons goal by number 15, Chris Hunt, unassisted. Canisius is a private school from upstate New York. It shouldn't be able to stay with the Falcons. Good shake, good shake. Close it, close it, close it. Good. Other side! Minis, get down that corner! No! Severna Park's goals come early and off. Off, you come off on defense, you let them take a shot out there, you put a fan down for no reason because you're being lazy. Be smart and you gotta get in the hole. Hey, be smart! Okay! Crusaders goal, number 
disgusted with his team's sloppy play. But he also seems to be mad at himself. I'm gonna run you guys so much after this game, I am sick and tired of this crap. Every time he yells at the players for being out of position, he's yelling at himself and our assistant coaches. We haven't taught him right. I got people in the wrong spots when we're clearing the ball. I got people in the wrong spots when we're riding. We are going to dominate. We're going to win the state championship, but we're not going to do it if we don't stay disciplined. But I'm not going through another game like that. You guys hear me knocking? Yes, sir. Go! And don't slide with body, and they're gonna hang 15 goals on you. We will be a disciplined lacrosse team. Go! Go! <coughs> I'm doing this because I love you and I want you to achieve what we're trying to achieve, right? Yes, sir. And that's a lifetime memory. Florida Park across winning the state championship this year, which we will do. But before we're that, we gotta kick Severn's ass, and we're gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do that tomorrow. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah. On that field! Yeah. Can I get it be the best? Come let's on, let's go. One, two, three! Be the, best. the next morning, Jimmy shows up to watch his JV team play and to prepare for their game with arch rival Severn that evening. Work hard, gentlemen, okay? We're going to kick several times tonight. Yeah. Who wants to play? Who wants to play? Raise your hands if you want to play. I want to play. Raise your hand high. If you don't give a rat's ass, then the field gets screwed up. Right. Right. No one gives a rat's ass if the field gets screwed up, right? I don't give a shit. You? You? No. It's water! It's raining! Postseason. Everybody keeps walking out, guard. Are we going to play? Are we going to play? It's fucking water! It's water! What? I don't care. 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 We pay taxes so we can use the fields, right? Who gives a rat's ass if the field gets screwed up? It'll grow back. Plus, and this is the best part, hang with me parents, this is the field hockey field, and the women's field hockey coach will be absolutely livid if we play out here, that makes me happy. <laughs> but you think we should play, right? It's a call, right? No, you don't think you should play. Yes, you should. You had my opinion, I gave it to you. <laughs> Who loves you? Coaches don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's not enough for Beardmore to stick it to the administration over the political correctness of playing on a wet field. You know, here's the whole thing. Fuck the parents. They don't know. Do they coach the cross? No. Right. Is their ass in the line because of the program? No. Right. Do they know anything about coaching and teaching kids? No. He's still seething from tryouts where the mandate to keep players, even if they don't play, still sticks in his craw. 
because it's bullshit to fucking shoot. It's bullshit to shoot 45 fucking kids and have them sit on the sideline and freeze their fucking asses off. It's stupid. It's a waste of fucking time. You can keep the camera on. Keep the fucking camera on. Okay? It's stupid. My father just cussed me out and told me I was running the program into the ground and everybody hates me. Does everybody <laughs> hate my guts? No. They don't. I, I, just I, I, I just don't want what happened two years ago with the scouting report to happen today. What happened? We got, got all out. amped up and we talked about how much everyone sucked and they really didn't suck. And right. then we went out and it was four. Nothing. That's not going to happen. Though. And that's why I was upset last night. Because if we play like we did last night, tonight, we lose by 10 goals. <laughs> I got I got 40 of them. That might not be enough, but that's all the money I had. So, Severn School is a very, very good lacrosse team. We're the underdog. They're Severn School. They got the money. They got the time. They're a better lacrosse team. But that doesn't matter. Because we're going to beat him. Jimmy Beardmore is fond of Nick Elsmo. Coached him in camps. But for two hours on a damp April evening, he will be the enemy. Beardmore's defense has one imperative. Stop Nick Elsmo. He's on the field the whole damn game. Whenever you have him around you, make him run. Get to him, beat the crap out of him. They're a bunch of lily white, preppy ass, rich boy pussies. <coughs> I know, I went there. Basically, the way to beat these fags is to come out, you know, get gritty, fucking beat the shit out of them, keep it legal, screen their goalie, get in his head, and they're done. I, I agree. For once in our relationship, we agree. Don't talk shit. Except for seven. For seven, when you Sorry. line up on Elsmo, you can talk about his mother, his girlfriend. His mom. His mom. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no, Play your game. Relax. Do the right things tonight. Have a good time. These, these nights come around once in a lifetime. Now enjoy it. Be thinking back 20 years from now about this night. All right? One, three together. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It's game time. Jimmy coached at Severn for three years after his All-America days as a goaltender for Maryland. He was fired at the end of his third season for directing foul language at an opponent. It's okay, man. It's no big deal. It's a long game. Get your heads up. And I hate it when the other team scores first. Go! 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 Time out! Keep shooting the ball, boys. Keep shooting it on net, one at a time. Go for the shooter! Okay? We're clear now, right? Go through the shoot! Yeah! You just let somebody take an uncontested crack shot on my goal. You want your what you ran up, shook his hand? Huh? Huh? Go through the shoot! Admiral's goal, number nine. Let's go! Here we go! Stop 
the breathing somehow. Stay outside, Stay outside, Stay outside, Steve. Steve, stay outside. Hit, baby. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Was that a bad hit? It's the clock. Tell me that's a good hit. It was a good hit. It was a good hit, sir. Incorrect. Change. 20 on the first. Bullshit. one on seven. And that's the reason we're losing ball. And we're losing the ball game because those men are and um, I'm and when and when my I'm gonna go talk to them at four minutes. And when I do not have the, the things that I'm gonna say are not gonna be good and I don't know what's gonna happen. If and when I do get thrown out of this game, which is probably gonna happen in a minute and a half, fight hard gentlemen. Let's go boys I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick of referees coming in and doing this to Swinner Park, okay? They do it to us all the time, bud, and I'm just, I'm done with them. I'm done with them. I've been, I've been nice and kind and friendly and everything else. Give one more quarter. This is not am call. This is call. This is absolutely fucking horrible, dude. Absolutely effing horrible. That's your take, Warner. Absolutely. Sure Absolutely. Okay, well, I'll call Chuck. Maybe I won't be at the game where he got me going to the game. That's fine. That's fine. You got dude. what you wanted. You'll never see me step on this field again. If you're going to referee like that, I don't want you to. Well, why is it? Why? Let him play the cross, dude. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. He wasn't on touch. We've had eight penalties on us and not one on them. I, I just I just, I think this is horrible. Oh, call a better game. Call a better game. Call a better game. Okay? Huh? Coach a better game? Huh? Coach a better game? Huh? You think that's the answer to say, say that to me? You think that's the answer to walk away and go coach a better game? You think you can coach a better game? Sometimes we have to have off nights. This might be yours. This might be yours. This might be yours. Get away, coach. Get away. Bullshit. They're starting to lose control a little bit. All right? They're going to foul you. They're going to cheap shot you. They're going to hit you in the back. Strangle them with fundamentals right now. Strangle. All right? Let's go after this. Let's go! Come on, man, there was a ton of time left in this ball game. There was a ton of time. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's the shot? That's the shot we take? Yeah, get him up, get him up, get him up. Get, 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 up, get, get Brian in there too. I'm making some subs and getting some people some playing time against seven because there's no fucking way to win this ball. Game.